Hello, today we're going to be looking at smelly plants with Alex. He's going to be looking at smelly plant families and Polly and Helen. We're going to ask, do smelly plants kill germs? And myself, Dr. M, I'm going to be leading the smelly plant walk. What do different plants smell of? And the answer is lots of different things. Some familiar, some unfamiliar. But sometimes very different plants can smell the same. For example, lemons and lemongrass. It's exactly the same chemical, limonene, but in completely different families. And it's evolved in these different families, probably to deter herbivorous pests or to kill microbes. Can smelly plants kill germs? Well, plants can't run away, so they must stand and defend themselves against attack from herbivorous insect pests or, or microbes. Some plants have antimicrobial chemicals, which kill the germs, and they may have these in their leaves or stems. This is like a chemical armour, which defends the plant from attack. The lab experiment we did showed that some plants, like lavender, eucalyptus and garlic, left a halo of microbe-free space on the agar plate, showing that they do, in fact, kill microbes. Smelly plants can kill germs. Why do some flowers smell sweet, some gross, and some smell of nothing? Sweet-smelling flowers may have evolved to signal, I've got nectar, and to attract bees as pollinators. Gross-smelling flowers may also have evolved to attract pollinators, but this time they attract flies and other carrion feeders that like gross, rotting things. Some plants have flowers that don't smell of anything. Our example was oak, little tiny flowers dangling in the wind. These flowers may be wind-pollinated. That's why they dangle. And they don't need any smell. They're not trying to attract anything. They just want to get the pollen into the wind. <laughs> 